What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team Stand Up! Jimmy Arrow! I'm with 133 games for this. To yourself, what was I doing without basketball on every day? I do. LeBron is still a freak of nature. Steph is still the best shooter in the world. Nikola, this is my side hobby. Jokic continues to make the NBA look like a developmental league. And Victor Wembanyama is as good as advertised. That's the right. The NBA is back. That's right. And it's better than ever. Okay. He had a top Today's stuff. video is 80% of their team. Oh, you know, YouTube got that new feature. The if you hold down the thing. Back. Basketball season is upon us. And DraftKings is here to get you in on $5 speed, but it's on any bad. basket. Receive 200 already signed up with a safer limit season with bet just $5. That's pro with one week of NBA games in the books, would it be too early for me to jump to some wild Bro, I was so conclusions mad on a watch. season that just started? Absolutely. Is that going to stop me from making some wildly bold conclusions on a season that just started? No. Of course not. So here is everything that happened in week one of the NBA in about 10 minutes. Breaking news, LeBron James is still really good at basketball. The Lakers look mediocre, but LeBron in his 40th season at the ripe age of 62 is still chugging along, averaging 22, nine and seven a game on 62% shooting while playing the least amount of minutes per game and having the lowest usage of his entire career. In fact, the highest single game game score from a player in their 21st season in NBA history is 17.2 by Dirk Nowitzki in 2019. Wow until LeBron James surpassed that mark, which he has already done three times this season. Unfortunately, him and AD are being anchored down by teammates who couldn't make a shot even if you Yo, got the best dollars. <laughs> Unless this is some sort of Mandela effect and I can't remember correctly, Gabe Vincent Yo. just eviscerated the Celtics in last year's playoffs. What happened? In other news, this season the NBA rolled out a new set of load management rules and violations in hopes that it would deter teams from resting star players. It has not. James Harden still holds the crown as the NBA's biggest diva as he continued to play mind games with the 76ers until they traded him to the Clippers for pennies on the dollar. The third time he has done this in four seasons, proving once again that if you're talented enough, you can get away with whatever you want, which is really cool since I drafted Harden way too early in fantasy this year. Why I chose to do this? Because I'm an idiot. But opposite of drama and dysfunction is Mr. Reliable Nikola Jokic, who is firmly, without a shadow of a doubt, the best player in the world. For the last few years, it's been pretty neck and neck between him and Giannis, but right now, there's no debate here. Jokic is the best player on the face of the planet. No, he isn't, Through bro. It's Curry, dog. 26, 12, and 9. Bro, on Curry drops that off in his worst days. 69. Nice. True shooting percentage. Another mind boggling stat line from the Joker. And then when you see how suspiciously easy it is for him to dominate and win bro, games, snuck it is kind of infuriating. How is he so good? How is he so smart? Why is he making every shot? He's moving at half speed. The Nuggets are legit. They're winning games by an average of nearly 15 points right now. Good luck to the rest of the league. Meanwhile, scoring the ball continues to be about as easy as it's ever been. Because in just the first week of the season, there have already been Wait, six 40-point 40 40 games. It also took all but four days for someone to drop a 50-piece. Dang, Zach LaVon at 50 piece, plus? But settled for 49, 10, and 7 which brings his season average to 40 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists. Bro, he's putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers, bro, in like 1955. What the heck? Bro, if Donakick holds this up, game. bro. Just a totally normal and not completely outrageous stat line or anything. Damian Lillard made quite the first impression in his first game with the Bucks, scoring 39 points, going Dame time on the 76ers in the fourth, and already breaking franchise records and then followed it up with this dud in the very next game. Don't worry, Bucks fans. I lived with this for a decade. You'll be fine. Staying in the East, the Celtics still have some wrinkles to iron out, but their offseason moves seem to be paying off as Chris Stapps Porzingis became the first Celtic center to score 30 points in a regular season game since Kelly Olenek did it nearly a decade ago in 2014. Wow. A fact that is equally as crazy as it is depressing. Ben Simmons is back on the court and doing stuff like this, which is truly remarkable Yo, nah, because how he can sling wild. passes with pinpoint accuracy they from put 60 feet the out too, but can't seem to knock down a simple jump shot is baffling. You'd think the two abilities would be correlated in some way, but in the case of Ben Simmons, they are not.
Now, one of the more exciting developments so far this season has been this year's rookie class, which so far is showing signs of being pretty good with a few outliers. Wiminyama looks amazing, as expected. That's right. And quite frankly, even if he didn't look amazing, I wouldn't be surprised if the Rookie of the Year trophy already had his name etched into it. Brandon Miller is Here's already a difference maker Miller. for the Hornets. And the 12th overall pick, Derek Lively, will go on two-minute spurts of playing like a young, cracked-out Blake Griffin. Meanwhile, Scoot Henderson is, uh, uh, he's doing just fine. I'm sure with some more reps, he'll be well on his way to hitting that all-NBA level potential. Just remember, it's early in the season. If your team is bad, just tell everyone to give it some time. The season just started. If your team is doing good, tell everyone you were right all along. Now here are the power rankings after week one and the change in rankings from the preseason. The Denver Nuggets were on top and they're still on top. Milwaukee slipped, 76ers climbed up a few spots as Maxi like fills the Harden gap. Kings jumped five spots, Pelicans jumped seven spots thanks to Zion Williamson actually playing basketball. Mavericks jumped six spots. They look better than I think most people thought they were going to up to this point. OKC and the Pacers see massive jumps. Knicks plummet, the Heat plummet, but I'm sure they'll find another fringe swingman ready to shoot lights out and bounce your favorite team out of contention in horrific fashion come the playoffs. Pistons fell eight spots because having them at 13 in the preseason was psychotic to begin with. The Grizzlies fall 13 spots as half their roster has already missed playing time. Hornets are ass. Spurs have Wemby, so this is actually a typo. They should be the number one team. Rockets are ass and my Blazers are ass. It's funny because I thought the situation in Portland couldn't get any worse. And yet one week into the season and it's somehow even worse. And finally, here are our criminally early NBA season awards, which I really shouldn't do. But it's my channel, and no one can stop it. <laughs> Just off of first impressions from this season, these are the all-NBA teams so far. First team is Curry, Luka, Tatum, Durant, and Jokic. Yeah, Second there you go, Fox, high roller. Maxi, PG, Giannis, and Embiid. Hold and on, Maxi? <laughs> he wouldn't even make the seventh all-NBA team. Come on. Third team is Cam Thomas, Shea, LeBron, Markinen, and AD. You gotta just put wet bananas. Yeah, just, just um, replace uh, Maxi with wet bananas, or you can play some, replace him with Embiid and Joel if you had to use a center, or you can replace him with Mark, uh, Mark Cannon, dude. Um, bro, what? How you have a Spurs player that's not wet bananas as a? Deep. Come on, man. And sure, there's one or two outliers here. I'm not gonna name any names. But overall, it's interesting how the best players in the league are always good all the time. One week into the season, and for the most part, with some fluctuations here and there, these teams probably aren't too far off from what we'll end up seeing at the end of the season. The most valuable player right now is Nikola Jokic. Now, Rookie of the Year is a tough one, but I'm gonna go out it's on a limb and Andy. say it's Wimby. The scoring leader yep. is Luka Doncic with a modest 40 points per game. Now, now but, yeah, let's be honest. I, I don't think Donna Kick is going to hold that 40 plus. Realistically, I think he's going to end up around 35 ish, 34. He is going to stay in the 30s, though, which is still crazy, insanely scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I like, you know what I'm, bro? Like, I cannot wait until this top 100 list really drops, guys, because, like, it's going to have so much fact statements about it. Like, for example, like, bro, imagine if Donna Kick played in, like, the 70s, bro. Like, bro, he's putting up my career 60 point numbers easily. Like, like, like no effort, like it's like a layup. In Some a fans actually. might think up to this point, most improved player belongs to Cam Thomas, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Tyrese Maxey. Defensive player of the year would go to Alex Caruso, who continues to somehow be a defensive anchor for the Bulls, despite being a six foot four inch perimeter player. The best team through week one is easily the Nuggets. The buzz around this team was very quiet all off season. People were talking about the Suns, the Celtics and the Bucks, but quietly reloading were the Denver Nuggets, who just have a cohesive, complete basketball team led by the best player in the world. And that was everything that happened in week one of the NBA season in about 10 minutes. Hey. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time. Shout out to man.